my favorite distillery produce another masterpiece? Find out as we put Hakshu Spanish Oak 2021 to the test on Kanpai Planet. Around 50 years ago, Kezo Saji, Suntory's second president, decided to expand the company's range of malt whiskey components. After years of searching, they settled on a site in the foothills of Mount Kaikomagatake, deep in the Japanese Southern Alps. That's how the Hakshu Distillery was born in 1973. Located at an altitude of 708 meters, it brings much more than just its forest location to the Suntory portfolio. It uses wooden washbacks, a variety of still shapes, and an aging warehouse that is not climate controlled. The first Hacksha single malt was launched in May 1994, a 12 year, and since then the core range has expanded to include an 18, a 25, and the distiller's reserve no age statement bottle. Starting in 1997, with the release of Yamazaki Sherrywood 1982, Suntory has made limited edition wood expressions of their single malts available on a semi-regular basis. In terms of Hacksha releases, the last time we saw a sherry cask drop was 2014, the end of a trilogy of No Age Statement bottlings that began in 2012. Prior to that, we had a few sherry expressions as part of the Cask of Hakshu series, the Suntory Vintage Malt series, and the Owner's Cask series. There's also been the odd special, such as the 20-year Hakshu Sherry Cask for the Whiskey Exchange's 10th anniversary in 2009. This bottle, along with some of Suntory's other recent limited edition releases, has been branded as Zukuri Waka Selection, that's a tough word to translate. Suntory describe it as diversity in the making, or rather diversity in production. It's a reference to the fact that they make the most number of malt whiskey components across their distilleries of any single whiskey company in the world. The liquid in this bottle was matured in casks made on spec for Suntory out of Spanish oak from Northern Spain. Those casks were then used to hold sherry. The design of the bottle follows the standard Hacksha fingerprint. We've got Spanish oak in shiny red and the label and the box in this salmon pink color. It's JSLMA compliant, which means it's real Japanese whiskey according to the standards released in February 2021. Now, Suntory don't tell us if this is natural color or if it's non-chill filtered. Maybe they don't think that's important to whiskey aficionados. However, what's interesting is back in 2012, 13 and 14, that was, well, not quite front and center, but certainly non-chill filtered was back and center of all of those releases. As is typical of these limited edition releases, there's no age statement on the bottle. It's 48% ABV, which is a full five percentage points higher than the Hakshu core range, which sits at Suntory Classic 43% ABV. It's priced at 11,000 yen after tax, around 100 US dollars. That's higher than this year's Yamazaki Limited Edition 2021 and the Hibiki Blossom Harmony releases, which came in at 8,800 yen after tax, but a little cheaper than the Hakshu Peated Malt 2021, which was 12,100 yen after tax. That of course is the recommended retail price. The secondary market in Japan is currently around 12 and a half times that. Does the differentiated pricing give us any indication as to the age of the liquid inside the bottles? Possibly, but I suspect it's more to do with the volume of the release. There were 30,000 bottles for each of the Hibiki Blossom Harmony and the Yamazaki Limited Edition 2021. I'd estimate this at much lower. I'm a big fan of almost everything that comes out of the Hacksha Distillery. So I'm looking forward to what will hopefully be a marriage of that light peat and smoke that is the distinctive Hacksha profile with sweetness from sherry cask Spanish oak aging. Let's find out. Thank you to all our viewers and subscribers. I truly appreciate the support. Stick with us because there's much more to come on Kanpai Planet. All right, let's check out the color. This is a beautiful dark amber mahogany color, almost like oolong tea. It's really quite something. On the nose. 
Hmm, that's quite punchy. Two initial observations. It's somewhat tart on the top note, and I'm not really getting anything to tell me that this is a hakshu. There is some sweetness there in the form of honey, prunes, raisins, but it's certainly not as inviting as the colour suggested. Kanpai. Hmm, well, it's quite dry and it's pretty tannic. Is there any hakshu smoke there? I don't know. It's not like the sherry is overpowering it. It's more that it's just confused the whole situation. Interestingly, the tasting notes from Suntory simply say softly bittersweet. So if some of the world's top tasters and blenders can't even pick out any individual notes from this thing, then how the hell am I meant to do it? And maybe the reason why even the guys who made this struggle is that it really is quite monodimensional. It reminds me of those liqueur filled chocolates, but not the good ones. The ones that just get left in the pack because nobody wants to eat them. The finish is quite dry. There's a little bit of sulfur. Sometimes when you have something that's dry or lightly tannic, it results in this a slight acidity and salivation, which helps you anticipate the next mouthful. But that's not the case here at all. So what's the verdict? Do I really need to spell it out? Perhaps the sherry is participating in some kind of economic austerity package where it needs to amortize its appearance over several years. And I don't mean relative to a sherry bomb, I just mean relative to a nicely sherried whiskey. I wonder if I can draw some deeper conclusions from this bottle. Now, earlier this year, Suntory reformulated their flagship Yamazaki 25 whiskey away from being 100% sherry cask to a mix of sherry cask, Spanish oak, American oak, and Japanese oak, Mizunara. At the time, I postulated that this was probably driven by two motivations. One was to align the Yamazaki 25 with the composition of the Yamazaki 12 and the Yamazaki 18. Now, Suntory say this is their only motivation, which begs a couple of questions. Why now? And if their core range brand alignment is so important, then why is the Yamazaki Distillers Reserve those casks plus Bordeaux wine cask components? My second hypothesis was that Suntory's stock of sherry casks is dwindling. If not in number, then at least in quality. Their sherry casks may be getting tired. Judging by this dram, there may be something to that hypothesis. It's the fact that these releases are called Spanish Oak versus sherry cask for the previous releases, an indication that we're meant to focus just on the exclusivity of the barrel type and not on the fact we should expect too much sherry. To cheer myself up, I'm going to have some Hakshu Sherry Cast 2012. This was the first year of that Sherry Cast trilogy, one bottle per year in 2012, 13 and 14. It won ISC Gold in 2012, and it's also 48% ABV, and it cost 9,450 yen after tax. Back then we had 5% consumption tax versus the 10% we have now. Let's check out the color. Oh, that's lovely. Comparing the color with the 2021, pretty similar, but the 2012 is a tad darker. On the nose. Now that is more like it. Walnuts, raisins, plums, which have been swimming in beautiful, mature sherry. The tannins are there, but they've been subsumed, integrated within leather and butter and coffee. And surrounding all that is the distinctive hakshu, fresh mountain forest aroma. Kan pai. That's much smoother, but not so smooth that we're losing complexity. Despite that encompassing mouthfeel, it's not cloying. So not cloying, but it is quite thick though. Jam does come to mind. We've got some liqueur-filled chocolate, but the ones you rush to, to beat out everybody else and get to them first. There's a lovely spicy kick in here as well. Some cinnamon and some licorice, little bit of star anise as well. The finish, is long and lingering as opposed to long and annoying and allows you to really relax 
and enjoy those notes that I've mentioned earlier. This is what a sherried hakshu should taste like. Great balance, great integrity, great complexity, and frankly, just plain delicious. So, should you buy a bottle? Given the hype that surrounds every single Suntory release, anybody who wants one, I'm never going to persuade them otherwise. But I do feel that your money is better spent elsewhere. Sadly, this time my favourite distillery has let me down. But no matter, because there's plenty of Hakshu at the bar. Until next time, Kanpai!